Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a quick video. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video yet, but if you're following me on Instagram, you saw that a couple of weeks ago I posted a picture of these shade adjusting drops by the brand The Body Shop. If you guys are a foundation lover, you know the struggle of getting the perfect shade. I feel like I still don't understand the undertones for my skin because sometimes I feel like it's yellow, sometimes I feel like it has a little bit more of like olive tones. So it's kind of hard, but um, I wanted to give these drops a try and see if it worked out for me. Yeah, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I use these drops, and these are amazing. I really, really like them. I'm so happy that I came across them, and I'm so happy that I got to try them out. Enough rambling. Let's get on to the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. So I've already primed my face, so before we start, um, let me just give you a little bit of information on these shade adjusting drops. So I actually have two. I have the lightning, which is the one that I'm going to be using today, and then I have the darkening adjusting, your shade adjusting drops. So the reason why I'm going to use this is because this is meant for light to medium skin, and even though I'm not very light, this just, it would be way too dark for me. You can also use this one if your foundation is too orangey, maybe it's not too dark, but it just has some orange undertones. This has a mix of white and a little bit of pink, so it's going to neutralize that oranginess that your foundation um, may have. Now, if you're dark to deep skin and you have a foundation that's too light for you, um, your foundation might look too ashy or too light, so you can just adjust it, you know, according to whatever you need. This actually has some concentration of black and red unlike this one has pink and white so that'll help just neutralize and take that ashiness away from your foundation okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to mix my NARS or I'm just going to shake it so I'm going to take about three to four pumps two three four usually that's about enough and I actually won't use all of it so now I'm going to take the lightning drops and I'm going to drop, it says that one pump gives you half a shade lighter. And I think this foundation is about two shades, two shades darker than me. So I'm going to do, that's one shade. Two shades, three shades, okay. So I'm going to mix it and as you can see, that's what it looks. So it is a little bit runny. I mean the foundation is runny. But um, I have tried this out before and it doesn't change the consistency of my foundation which I really like. I had some concerns about that because I love, 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 love the foundation, the NARS foundation. I really like how it looks on my skin. It looks very natural but it still gives me a nice full coverage. So I'm going to apply this on to my face. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in. And I'm actually just going to apply it to this area of my face. And then I'm going to show you what this foundation looks like without the drop so you can see what a difference it makes. So that is a color that I made using the adjusting drops. So as you can see, it's a lot lighter. So this is with the adjusting drops and it matches my skin a lot better. So now let me show you just in a little a little spot here what it looks like without the drops. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but compared to this side, hopefully the camera can pick it up. But I hope you guys can see that it's very dark and I feel like this oxidizes a little bit on my skin. It may not look as dark on camera but trust me it's very dark. If you are my skin color NC40, um, Syracuse, medium dark one, Syracuse is way too dark. It's probably like one shade too dark for me and you can tell you know especially when I'm out and about. 
I have to literally bring it all the way down, which I don't like having foundation here. So, big difference. So, there it is. It looks very nice. And honestly, this has not changed the, um, what do you call it, the consistency of this foundation, which I can really appreciate because it's very, it's a little bit thicker than this one. The NARS foundation is a little bit more runny, a little bit more watery, and this one is definitely thicker. So what I would recommend if you guys are interested in buying these, um, just make sure that you have a foundation, you know, that you want to use, but you don't use it because it's too um, dark for you or it has too many orange tones to it. I really, really like this. I believe it's $20 and I think it's worth it. I really think it's worth it. I think it's very good investments, especially for us that we change color during the winter and then we get a little bit more tan during the summer. I think this is such a genius idea and I really like it. And again, it didn't change the consistency of my foundation for me personally. Um, try it out and if you guys like it, let me know. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I will come back in a second. So that is it. That is, that is literally all I do to pretty much get the perfect shade for me. Um, I will have a link to where you can buy these drops and hopefully you guys can pick them up. And yeah, that is the end. Um, really quickly, I just want to mention kind of what I have on my face. I've been trying out the Timeless Beauty Palette by City Color Cosmetics. It contains some blushes and then it has three big old highlights. This stuff is so gorgeous. Like I've been using it since I received it. I'm wearing these two highlights on my cheekbones today and it just, it's gorgeous. And then on my lips, I am wearing today the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Loved, which is a really pretty, it's like a rosy, nudish pink so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and again let me know if you are going to be picking up um either one of these drops and also make sure that you are following me on instagram it's just at omg lashes because i am going to be doing a giveaway for instagram only and then maybe in the future i'll do a youtube uh giveaway because usually i always do them for only my youtube viewers so make sure you are following me on my social media accounts so that is everything for today's video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye